watch him? Yeah, well, no, we can't. Go back and I'm scared. With growing concerns about school reopening, one Minnesota teacher took her questions right to the governor. She interrupted a news conference on COVID relief to try to get answers. Esme Murphy reports. Thank you, Governor. The Washington. governor was just being introduced when he was interrupted. Thank you, Executive yes. Director Fair. Yeah. The governor's press secretary signaled the governor would talk after, but he actually peeled off from the news conference to meet with Ellen Garola, who tearfully said her husband is a St. Paul firefighter and she's worried about child care. Hey. Oh, my other in going to have to watch him. Yeah, like, no, we can't ask him. Yeah. And just so you know, our plan, just so you know, if any of these situations comes up, it is the responsibility of the school district to provide you the option to be to deliver that at home. Garola, who teaches middle school in the Anoka Hennepin School, says teachers are the last to get information. I'm finding out everything that yep. parents are finding out. Principals don't even know. No, and and I don't know what to do. Who do we go to if they're not following? Yeah, MDH. After the governor went back to the news conference, she spoke with reporters. Teachers also need to advocate for ourselves and our students. We feel like we've become the enemy when just asking for safe returns. That's all we want. We just want to come in safe. We want good air ventilation. We want cleaning supplies. We want kids to be able to social distance. I validated her concerns. My eighth grader is in distant learning, which just like teach parents across Minnesota, my first thought was, oh no, here we go on this. That's what's happening. So I'm under no illusion. This is going to be hard. This is going to be like a first day of school we've never seen. Minnesota school reopening plan leaves the decision about learning up to the school districts with guidance from health officials. They have the option to do in-person learning, distance learning, or a hybrid of the two. And up next, an online petition with more than 270,000 signatures is accusing a toy of promoting child abuse with an inappropriate place button.